Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. We have number 12 from the Mandalorian range, uh, subline I guess, uh, Cosca Reeves. This one is fantastic, I'm really glad to finally have this one in the collection. This wave seems to have been a little slow getting down under this time, uh, but that's okay. You know, they've been popping up over, over in the States and, you, you know, the greater North America, I guess, um, for, for a little while now. So it's it's nice to see these finally showing up in stores down here in Australia. Again, pick this one up from Kmart as well. Uh, Cosca Reeves on the back. A master of hand-to-hand -hand combat, Cosca Reeves is loyal to Bo-Katan and is a member of, of a band of Clan Kree's Mandalorian striking back at the Imperial Remnant. So, yeah, really, really cool looking figure. Um, my, my main issue with this one, I guess, is that the helmet is removable and uh, I kind of wish they kept it separate in the box. They did that with Bo-Katan um, from memory. <laughs> I think they, they took her helmet off in the, in the packaging. So I think in terms of characters that can have removable helmets, I think it would be great to be able to show that. And uh, you know, you don't need that much room for all the guns. You can put, a, put them two down there, the jetpack and then the helmet above that. Just just to sort of show that extra feature of being able to remove and add on a helmet or switch heads or whatever it is that may be. But, uh, you know, again, it's not a big deal. <laughs> um, I know as some as a collector that I'm going to be able to take this helmet off. So I'm looking forward to cracking this one open. So let's do exactly that and we'll take a look at Cosca Reeves. All right, here we are with Cosca Reeves and she's a fantastic looking figure. Uh, it is more or less just a repaint of Bo-Katan for the most part. Um, so there are some minor inaccuracies. I mean, the one thing they changed is that she only has one sort of holster for a, for a blaster, whereas uh, Bo-Katan has the two. So yeah, they've changed that up. And uh, yeah, in the show, she doesn't wear the uh, the shin, shin pads. So I think that was all the inaccuracies, I believe there is with this figure but you know for the most part you could just say okay maybe that day she didn't put in a shin armor or something like that and uh and on this this portrayal she did so um otherwise i'm really digging the colors i love love the blue i think it looks great love the helmet there's a jetpack there which is removable um i'll probably end up gluing that in like i did with bo -Katans. i have no reason to take it off so that's all good. Comes with the blaster pistols. One there, one I have in the holster, so that holds out well. The night owl sigil there on the shoulder and on the other shoulder. Some cool details on the belt buckle. Nicely done. A little bit of silver accenting there as well. Fortunately, they didn't do it on the back. But again, I've said before, don't look at the back of the figure too much. Um, Yeah, otherwise, cool looking figure. I'm looking forward to having her displayed alongside uh, Bo-Katan. Um, and yeah, like I was saying before, I wish they'd take the helmets off in the packaging because uh, unfortunately, mine's a little bit uh, munted, I guess is the right word. Um, this is probably more of a packaging error um, where the hair just hasn't been fixed to the head probably you can sort of see that should be down around her ear um, and you can just sort of see the tiny little gap there where it hasn't sort of sat on properly so uh, I am gonna have a go I don't think it'll be too much of a problem try getting that hair piece off um, and just reapplying I think that I don't think I'll have a drama with that I uh, do have a bit of experience doing customizing and uh, more so fixing <laughs> fixing brand new action figures thanks Hasbro um, but yeah otherwise I think the facial sculpt looks great I like the hair that sort of comes across as over her forehead I think it was a great look but yeah definitely looking forward to uh, fixing that up and just getting that looking a little bit better because you know that's that's just Q&A that's just QA you know quality control and uh, you know maybe if it didn't maybe if didn't have the helmet on in the packaging they would have picked up on it perhaps but uh helmet does fit nicely 
but uh, yeah, that was, that's, a, that's a little bit of a bummer to have to have to do that with a figure out of the packaging. Um, I just noticed that you know the so she's got one sort of strand down there on that side of the ear, and this one uh, was sort of just up, really sort of squashed in there by the ear. So again, that's probably just the factory uh, machinery that does that to uh, screw it up a little bit. But uh, it happens; these things happen, you know. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna let that paint the uh, picture of the full figure as just a uh, just a poor sample on my hand here. So um, not to be disappointed in this one at all because I dig the figure. It's just yeah. Otherwise, yeah, she looks fantastic. Really great likeness to uh, the actress. Uh, Sasha Banks, which is her wrestling stage name. I don't know anything about wrestling, so. <laughs> but yeah, nice looking figure. I'm, yeah, like I said, really looking forward to posing her up with uh, Bo-Katan. look really cool. So uh, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on uh, Cosca Reeves. I hope we get an Axe Woves at some point to finish the trio. I think that'd be really cool. Although she does feel that scene from the uh, season finale. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Really appreciate the support. And uh, yeah, back tomorrow for Power Force Friday. So stay tuned for that one. And uh, I'll see you very, very soon. Until then, may the force be with you, always.